welcome to Lotus Channel. Today is Abby at a service. Uh, there is one new production line has been built up in our factory, uh, which is 4 mm CDU pearling reforming production line. And this line combined with hydraulic decoller, feeding, servo feeding, leveling unit, hydraulic punching, and the, the hydraulic pre-cutting. But this station is separate from the reform unit. After the punching unit, it is the forming, then the hydraulic cutting. And this line, when combined with a pneumatic stacking system, it is over there. Now, just to follow my camera, I will show you from the decoller part. And I'd like to explain the difference between uh, separate punching and the online punching. So what we can see now, it is the hydraulic uh, decoller unit. It is motorized decoller hydraulic expansion. And due to the thickness of this coil is up to four. So we add this press arm to press the material to prevent it opening when running. Then let's come to the separate punching unit. It is the servo feeding, leveling unit, hydraulic punching, and hydraulic pre-cutting. The difference, uh, the advantage of this separate punching, it is when we uh, punch the hole, it won't stop the main machine. But if we use the, the online punching, when we punch, the forming unit will be stopped. So for this line, it will improve the whole line forming speed and save the time to produce the workpiece. Here is a feeding table where you could adjust the different widths by uh, shake this wheel. And here is the servo feeding. Then the leveling unit. We add the gear and the lifting gear. And this is the operation cabinet we combine with Mississippi's control system. So now we can see it is the hydraulic punching combined with three positions. And the due to and the due to this line it is make multiple size of C Z U pulley. So the weeds of the hole, we could also adjust by this wheel. We just shake it. And here, it is a hydraulic pre-cutting unit. Then let's come to the forming unit. The forming unit combined with casting pillar stands and the gearbox transmission and you can check our casting pillar and the roller shaft or we all use the wheel material and here we could also adjust the widths of the coil and we add another set level unit during the forming to improve the accuracy and to reduce the hard force of the coil this is the side roller to regular the coil. And here we can see uh, it is the height change driven by the servo motor. It will change automatically by this rail and both sides can move. Due to the high thickness coil, the roller we all use the GCR15 and the shaft we use the CR12. 
M O V. And you could also check here all the pipe, all the wire. We are regular on the machine. And here it is for the weed change. For the weeds, it is only moved by one side. And our machine, you can check which place, which surface stand these casting pillar. We are do the mur uh, milling. And here is the key way to put on the casting pillar to uh, make sure the accurate. And these four stations, one, two, three, four, is to change the shape, such as shape the D to C or shape the C to Z. We have to rotate this switch. Now we can check the forming step by step. Uh, now uh, we can check the operation cabinet. It is combined with Delta control system. Then let's check the cutting unit. It is a combination cutting. We can cut C, Z, and U early by this cutting. And for this line, we also combine with the pneumatic stacking system. We can check here. And over there, we uh, add this cover box. So here is the whole view of this CDU purling line. If you are interested in it, just uh, connect with us. We are here at your service and we delight to offer you more information of it. See you next time. Bye-bye.